Let's see how is Laravel handling authentication and user management. Before doing anything, start your MySQL server and create a new database over phpMyAdmin. So I'm going to call this one personal-blog, just like the project name with it. Once you have that ready, head over to .env file, which is located in the root directory of your app. Now, here you need to define these three parameters if you are running MySQL Server locally. If you are not, you have to define the database host here. Great. Now we can run PHP Artisan make out. Now, this command generated a bunch of things, including the database migrations for our database schema. If you are using MySQL Server version 5.7.7, or earlier, you will have to define a default key length in the app service provider. So under the boot function, I'm going to use schema and then I'm going to define Define default string length and I'm going to set it to 191. Great. Now let's add two more columns in the users table named admin and author of Boolean type. and set the default to false. Great, now we are ready to run this migration. And as you can see, migration went through successfully. Let's verify that in the PHP MyAdmin. And as you can see, our tables are here. Let's see what else Laravel generated for the user management. In the controllers, it created controllers for authentication and registering as well as password forget functionality. It created a home controller which is protected and only accessible to the users that are currently logged in. It created middlewares for redirecting the users if they are authenticated from the login and register pages. In the web.php, it also appended the routes, which are group of login, register, and password forget functionalities.
and it generated login register home and password reset functionality views.